Hello everybody welcome to Nutshell School So today we are going to be learning about a uh, different reverb plugins in Logic Pro X So today we'll be like I'm going to be showing you three different types of reverbs and how uh, they make their impact on different instruments and vocals So I have vo I have a female vocal dry female vocal let's get a listen to it first and we have a snap dry snap and that's this is totally dry So the three different types of reverb that we'll be talking about is a uh, silver reverb and a uh, space designer reverb. So these two come uh, free with uh, Logic Pro X, and then we have a Waves plugin reverb that's H reverb that is really good reverb for vocals. Uh, so let's start with the silver reverb on vocals. So how uh, it looks. So if you go to the audio effects and then to the reverb this is inbuilt silver reverb this is the most uh, used reverb uh, for like vocal dubbings and uh, instant what we say instant reverb reverbing to any track that you want and this is pretty good and decent reverb that uh, you can use and it has a really good output let's see how it So here you can adjust the how much how much dryness you want in it. I usually keep it hundred percent, and because we want the full dry vocal plus the wetness should be around forty. Well, like you can adjust according to your track, according to what you want. But let's see if we keep fifty percent wet and hundred percent dry. How it sounds. <laughs> So that's what a silver reverb uh, does to a dry vocal. And now we'll switch this with plugin off for a while and then add another plugin. Let's add the space designer on the same vocal and then we can see the difference. So space designer this is the basics like default factory default. Yeah. this one i don't like this one i have usually when i am treating my vocals with space designer i will go with the last faces plate reverbs and i will go with r and b plate you can there are like different uh, uh types of reverbs in the space designer so you can select any uh, one that suits your track your vocal or your instrument so let's see you can adjust like like various uh, different like pre delay length size x over low so you can play with these to uh, have different effects on your vocal or, or whatever you are putting the reverb on and let's see the difference between space designer r and b plate let's same thing with the silver so it's quite similar but like it depends which one is you are more comfortable with 
some people are comfortable with silver some are with space now we will treat the same vocal with another uh, reverb that's a part of the waves plugin so that's we have diff many different waves plugin comes up with like many different kind of reverbs so h reverb is one of the really decent reverb plugin to use on especially for vocals i won't suggest this one for any instrument or uh, any other a track or any other like even uh, the percussion or the clap if you want snap anything not this this one is basically for the vocals so and uh, the basic the uh, the default settings which it comes up with is pretty good so you don't have to alter anything so let's listen so yeah this is this is not uh, sounding good so the best part how to uh, apply a h reverb to vocals is through a bus so that we'll do how we can do that so just close this one and we don't want this plug in add a new bus and to bus one we'll add this h reverb so that we can adjust the amount of reverb we want this vocal to have from h reverb and we'll just go till let's see till 35 first This was without the, the plug was off, sorry. So now the plug is on. The best part of this edge reverb is it gives the vocal the reverb it requires but it doesn't alter the dryness the originality of the vocal so i would suggest if you are processing your vocals and you want a little reverb on it and h reverb is a really good one but this is from the waves plugin so kind of paid one so if you don't want to pay anything then silver reverb and space designer is the best alternative for uh, vocals so now we'll apply these same plugins to a snap. But I won't apply the H reverb to a snap. But I'll add and show you because it won't look that good. But let's add the other ones and first listen to this. What's this snap is all about? This is dry snap. The space designer. And let's add the silver above. So for snap. That's the default one which I usually don't like. So we'll put a lot of spaces and then we'll again go to the plate reverbs. Or you can try whatever you like. What so there are many different type of reverbs over here. Like one reverbs that sounds as it as if it's in a room, as if it's in a hall, as if uh, it's in indoor spaces, outdoor spaces. So you have many options. But I'll just go with the favorite one that I usually use and always put dryness to max and wetness I'll just adjust according to which suit
This is Jai. So that's the space designer R&B played a verb on the dry snap. And the silver verb is like, it's the, let's listen to it with the basic uh, factory default setting. This is the reason I always go with 100% dry and because otherwise it just spreads too much. So you see, space design I would suggest is a better reverb for any percussion or any uh, instrument rather than a silver reverb because this one is spreading but you can still adjust how much you want to reflect it and what should be the size of the room and how much pre-delay you want I usually don't uh, play with this that much because the uh, basic uh, thing is like you just have to adjust the dry and wetness but some cases, some tracks or something, wherever like you have to basically like you're doing a folly and there's a reverb and the scene is being picturized in a hall. So you have to definitely put the hall reverb in it. So it depends on the situation you wanna, you're going to be using this reverb in. Basically, this is the setting for silver reverb if you want to put it on a dry snap. And we'll still try that same H reverb again. <clears throat> we'll use the same bus and just go to 24. See the pre-delay that's the delay that's coming up. So that will disturb your track. That's why I don't use but it this actual is works really uh, well with the vocals, but I won't suggest it with any other instrument or uh, percussion if you are using any. So that's it guys. Uh these are the three different kind of reverbs, but there are many different kind of reverbs in uh, Logic Pro X, Logic like this is channel reverb, you can play with that, and reverb is also good. Uh, and if you go, have the waves bundle, then you'll find plenty of pretty decent, decent plugins, reverb plugins for your tracks. And you can go through and you can select whichever suits you the best. So that's it, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon and if you have any queries you can just leave a comment and I'll, I'll definitely get back to you and that's it thank you